All right, guys. 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. Customer wants to put 245-65-17s on method 17-inch wheels with a positive 30 offset. There's quite a few different opinions on does it fit without any modifications, trimming, plastic interference in the inner fender well. There's also conflicting information on does the full size spare fit in the rear tub where the factory spare is. Some say it'll fit but you have to air it down. Some say it won't fit at all. So we're going to go ahead and do the install on this thing today and we'll figure it out for you. We'll give you the information, good or bad. Here we go. these things together we got the Toyo AT3 245 65 17 going on the 17 by seven and a half method MR 701 bead grip wheels there's the info on the wheel if you need it it's a positive 30 offset we'll get these things stuck together Get them on this ride. Under the car we go. We're going to see if they clear or if they rub. So in the front, you can see they just barely rub that front plastic inner fender well. I mean, it just barely touches it. So a lot of people would just leave that be. Uh, but we're actually going to uh, move that forward just slightly so the customer doesn't ever have a chance of grabbing it or tearing it up. Let's see what it does on the back side. So the same thing back here. It, uh, it clears this mud flap, but it just barely grazes this inner fender well right here. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get this thing back inside and we'll move these pieces of plastic out the way. And this thing will be ready to hit the road. First, we're gonna work on the back. The rub mark is right here from the tire, so we need to get this area back. There is a pinch weld right behind this piece of plastic that's sticking out this way. Um, you could lay that over with a hammer if you wanted to. Uh, no need to cut it off. 
In this case, the rub is so slight in this area that we're not gonna mess with that. We're just gonna heat this area up with the heat gun. Uh, once it gets nice and soft, we're gonna push it back and cool it down with the air hose. Uh, and that should be all we need to do on the back side. front side the rubbing was just very slight right here on these ribs on the plastic inner fender well and to alleviate that uh, go underneath the front there's a push clip there a push clip there and a push clip there uh, we're going to remove those push clips and we're going to push this plastic forward slightly and re-drill a hole in the plastic skid plate to reinsert that clip and that's going to move this forward um, roughly about a half inch or so. There you have it. Very good fitment much better looking than factory just a very very slight amount of poke outside the fender well but still well within reason for the mud flaps to work overall very happy with the setup like and subscribe Thank you. So you can see the tire does not fit in the well with the 245-65-17. It's really, really tight on the sides and it also hits down here where the well diminishes. All right, we dropped the pressure to 20 pounds. It did go down in there farther. It's still slightly above what looks to be floorboard height. But it closes just fine. We took an 8 millimeter 125 pitch nut and threaded it on the factory spare tire keeper. And then we added an inch and a half of 8 millimeter ball thread. Uh, this will vary depending on the offset of your wheel and how the manufacturer made the lug pad right here. Uh, sometimes they're higher up, sometimes they're down farther. Uh, so definitely check that before you go off those measurements on your personal build. Uh, but ultimately this is a very easy, uh, very quick fix that's gonna work great.